Hello everyone, I'm Skyris, a member of the dev team for the unofficial Fallout Vaults and DevClaws roleplaying system. Our goal is to get our system to be an official roleplaying system. If you would like to support this project, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and follow our other social medias in the description below to keep up to date with the development of the system. Today, we'll be going over the primary and secondary statistics of the system. We are covering general information only. If you wish to look in depth into the rules, refer to the Google Doc link in the description. Let's begin. Your primary stats are your special, strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Special outlines your character's main aspects of how they look and act. The higher the stat, the better you are for that special. The lower the stat, the worse you are for that special. Strength determines how much physical power you can exert. This varies from climbing to lifting. Anything that requires sheer raw power entails strength. Perception encompasses all five senses. Touch, taste, sight, sound, and smell on a broad spectrum. When attempting to learn about broad details about the environment around you such as any strange smells, familiar sounds, and so on, use perception. Endurance covers your overall physical fortitude and health. You would use endurance for resisting poisons and lingering environmental effects. Charisma determines your force of personality around people. The higher your charisma, the more approachable your character is. You'd use charisma to learn about information in the town regarding quests, shopping, and minor persuasion. Intelligence covers your general memory, knowledge base, and your ability to comprehend general information. This would apply when attempting to remember something of your past or getting a hint on solving a puzzle. Agility is your general flexibility, coordination, and dexterity. Agility applies when trying to leap big gaps, dodge your way out of traps and explosives, or doing a backflip. Luck is the most broad of the specials. It determines if the universe hates you or loves you. You use luck for looting and the ability to manipulate fate such as giving you extra time to run away because the raider chasing you didn't tie their shoes and tripped. Unlike vault points, luck isn't about adding detail to the environment, but slight changes to lead towards your favor. Now on to the secondary stats. Secondary stats are formulas affected by your special. Action points determine the amount of points you can use for actions in combat. The formula is 5 plus half your agility. You can never go below 0 AP and the max AP you can have is 20. Armor class determines how hard or easy it is for you to get hit. Your base armor class is your perception and agility added together. Everything that gives you an AC bonus is added together to create your total. The lowest AC you can have is 0 and the highest is 150. Carry weight determines the amount of weight you can carry. This is affected by your size, strength, and endurance. Refer to the table under K weight for specifics. Critical chance determines the likeliness to get a critical success or failure. Your luck determines your success and failure range. The higher your luck, the bigger your success range and the smaller your failure range. Refer to the critical chance table for specifics. Detection is your passive awareness against those sneaking up on you or attempting to pickpocket you. The formula is 25 perception times 5. The higher your detection, the harder it is to sneak up on you. Hit points determine the amount of psychological and physical damage you can sustain. The formula for HP is 15 plus strength plus endurance times 2. As long as you're at 1 HP, you're not dead. Limb resistance determines how many times you can take a targeted attack before a body part can be crippled. Your limb resistance is equal to your endurance. The higher your endurance, the more Brahmin milk you drink. Melee damage is additional damage added to your melee, unarmed, and non-explosive throwing attacks. It is equal to your strength. Personality determines the radius of perks related towards boosting allies, ruining enemies, and sensing who's in danger. The formula is charisma times 10 feet. It wouldn't be fallout without radiation. Radiation resistance determines how resistant you are to overall radiation. The formula for this is endurance times 2. Some armor and items can increase this. Every time you're inflicted with radiation, you subtract it by your radiation resistance and the result is inflicted towards you. Sequence determines your initiative in combat and what your place is in turn order. Sequence is also a d10 roll, but the formula is a bonus that comes with it. The formula is half your agility. The lowest sequence bonus you can have is zero. Skill points are used upon leveling up to increase your skills. The formula is 10 plus intelligence times three. System shock pertains to how many chems and drinks you can have in your body before falling comatose. The formula is half your endurance. The higher your endurance, the more chems and drink effects you can have on you. Addictions also apply towards system shock. Last but not least, vault limit. 
Vault limit determines the amount of vault points you can have in total. The formula is charisma plus one, and the lowest your vault limit can be is two. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with the development of our system. We'll see you next time. Take care.